Some students in the Hazelwood School District are locked out of their online learning because the district is not able to confirm their residency requirements. One parent calls the action extreme. Foxy Jeff Bernthal joins us now with more on the concerns and the district's response. Jeff? Heading into the end of the semester here, students continue to learn virtually with the help of computers. Some of those parents that we talked with said that that window for their students has closed. We heard from two high school families, one with a student at Hazelwood West, another at Hazelwood Central. They said suddenly their high schoolers were denied access to their page for online learning. And you would think that you would talk to the parent um, or communicate a little better before you would go to the extreme of just deactivating his page the way that you did. Confirming residency is a common practice for all public school districts, but doing so during a pandemic has come with challenges. District spokesperson Anthony Kiko released a statement reading in part, the Hazelwood School District has been working to resolve any outstanding residency issues through phone calls, text messages, emails, postal service mail, and home visits. The two families we talked to said they never got a phone call or a direct visit, but acknowledge email can get overlooked. The district says taxpayers rely on them to confirm residency and confirming residency of families they have not been able to contact since the start of the pandemic helps ensure they're being served properly. Bland worries about what the loss of learning will mean for her son. I mean, I feel like for him, it's a letdown for my son because he's a senior. You know, he's already missing out on so much his senior year as it is. Bland says she submitted a utility bill as proof of residency last week and says her son was still denied access. The district tells us once families provide the residency information, Chromebook access will resume. While Bland waits for the issue to be resolved, she worries about how her student will make up for the learning time he's lost. Now the district tells us that students will be able to make up any of those lost assignments or in some cases those assignments might be waived. You can read the district's entire statement on our website with the Fox 2 app. Reporting live from the Hazelwood School District, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.